What brings you out today? I came out to have a good good time, network. Um, I'm out here for the week. I uh, did NFL Network today, tomorrow, um, part of the ESPYs, and then um, the following day is the Knicks Kids Choice Award that I'm going to take part of. So, first time in L.A., and I'm, oh, I'm soaking wow. it in. I'm going to try to do it all. You living it up then? Trying to. You tired yet? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit, but nah, it's, it's all good, though. I'm getting my sleep. I love that. Now, of course, this is the body party. Do you have a favorite issue that has come out so far? That's a tough one. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't pinpoint just one. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm definitely, uh, I definitely like it. It's, it's something different. Um, I hope to get on it one day. And, and any athletes that you think have the best body, female? Um, you know what? Just calling out one is, is, is kind of like saying that is better than the next. I, I mean, obviously, every, there's a lot of females that keep themselves in shape. So I couldn't, I couldn't just point out one. So I wanted to get your thoughts because because you have a following, you have a platform. People love to hear what you have to say, not just look at your beautiful face. <laughs> <laughs> so what are your thoughts on the Black Lives Matter movement and just all the stuff that's going on with police officers and snipers and all the crazy? It's tough, you know, in this kind of situation. Um, you know, I'd be I'd be uh, I'd be a fool not to recognize how much people need to bring back and uh, center center and bring Christ back in a conversation of, of these kind of situations and who Jesus is. Um, but, you know, obviously I could do a whole segment on this. Um, you know, I, I know it's a lot of animosity um, amongst different communities and cultures. Um, it's, it's, it needs to be addressed. You know, we, we, it, we must address the racial issues. We must address the um, justice system. Um, and at the same time, finding a way to support those who are doing their job as a police force. Um, not every single person is, is in the wrong. And uh, so commend those who are doing well and um, find a way to properly uh, go about it the right way and make it clear who's not and how they should be punished for it. Um, so it's, it, it goes two ways, but yes, you know, black black lives do matter. All lives matter. I stand beside that 100%. Um, and again, I'm a type of person. I actually wrote some things about this on Instagram and social media. I, I don't mind speaking my opinion, but it's going to take it's going to take everybody coming back to humility. And again, you need to bring Christ back in the conversation. Absolutely. As a black male, have you personally experienced anything with the police? Never with the police. Um, I've dealt with racial things growing up. I grew up in a little town in Virginia, and I, I mean, I've dealt with it, um, you know, directly. So I get it. I you know my dad even was a part of the Black Panthers growing up. So, like, I, you know, when people talk about racism and Thomas Jefferson slave home is right up the street from where I'm born and raised, like, I, I get it. Um, and I also have talked to many men and women that have gone through some of the same type of situations I've gone through. Uh, talk about how to fight it and everybody again I'm me I only can be me mm -hmm. and I, I can feel certain individuals respond to how they do and um, I hope everybody respects my approach too um, but understand my heart is to try to find common ground mm -hmm. um, and utilize the platform that God has given me to speak life into everybody's.